<clears throat> okay, well, third time's a charm, right? Hopefully this time it sticks. I don't know if that was me or what was going on. I think I saw a couple of you comment that it was a glitch, uh, a YouTube glitch of some kind, but uh, all of a sudden it just dropped out altogether. Hmm. So, Mitch Amon, Welling the Box, welcome to you. Thanks for these technical difficulties. <laughs> hey, Park Kingery's with us. Yarg Nad. Should I call you Yarg Nad or should I call you Dan Grave? <laughs> Cutting out still. Dan is Dan is dying. Okay. Tate Sr., you got my dot message. Uh, I don't believe so. Where'd you send it? Okay. Parking or says thoughts on downsizing from 412 to 212. Any negatives? Yes. You know, the, of course, the positives are going to be that, uh, you know, a 212 is roughly half the size and weight of a 412 equivalent. Uh, um, you know, the downsize to go downsizing to 212 from a 412 is there's just nothing out there that sounds like a 412 cab. You know, it moves a lot of air. It gives a really, really, real big sound. And, uh, you know, to go to the 212, you're essentially cutting that in half. You know, so, uh, you know, mic'd up, up on a stage someplace or even a studio, you're probably never going to notice the difference. But, you know, I, I, you know, standing right in front of it, though, you do. So, you know, if that's a sacrifice you're willing to make, you know, uh, save your back. I've, I actually had to start saving my back here a little bit in the last several years. And, <clears throat> you know, I've, uh, I've actually got a couple of, you know, I, you know, lugging that 412, especially up and downstairs, uh, especially now in a house that I own that I am trying, that I want to try and protect the walls. <laughs> uh, 212 is a little bit easier to move around. Uh, let's see. Okay. So everybody seems to be able to hear. Okay. Do I need to turn up the mic volume a little bit? I wonder, uh, let's try that because that's about as close to me as I can get this thing. So, because this, uh, boom arm is, well, the mic's a little heavy. Uh, let's see. David McBlain, James Toombs is here. Uh, PRS rocker. <laughs> hey buddy. How are you? <clears throat> uh, uh, if you guys don't know, PRS rocker is actually Jim Woodard of the practical guitars podcast. You guys need to go check him out. Uh, what I think it's podcast dot practical guitars, uh, or uh, podcast dot dot practical guitars.com. I think is the website. I'll, I, I, I can't recall, but uh, I'll post a link to it. Uh, I've, I've, I've posted links to their podcast several times in the past. Great. Uh, you know, lots of those, those guys are lots of fun. Uh, let's see. Mike is fine. Okay. Mike is fine. <laughs> Can you guys hear the get fiddle okay? Uh, did you see a Bagheera in my rig? You absolutely did not. <laughs> no, certainly not a, an original series Bagheera. Uh, those are uh, no, notorious for blowing up. I, I mean, they seem to have fixed all those problems with the Infinium series. Um, yeah, you know, I've been a little curious about him, but David Tate Sr. says, I want to pedal for that Wayland sound. I think I saw you ask that question here before uh, the network dropped out. 
Uh, boy. You know, it, it's, and I'm not, you know, I mean, that the Waylon Jennings sound, I, I'm assuming that's who you're referring to by Waylon. I'm assuming Waylon Jennings. You know, I mean, that Paisley, that Wampler Paisley drive seems to work pretty well for, for uh, you know, for Brad Paisley. You know, he's kind of in that same, that same genre. Um, you know, that might be a good place to start. You know, I'm not, you know, when it comes to, you know, those types of tones, uh, you know, I'm probably, yeah, you know, I'm probably the wrong guy to ask, but uh, I bet you, I bet you, Jim, uh, you know, a couple of these other guys might have a little bit more insight on that uh, compared to myself. Uh oh, looks to it looks like I'm gonna have to moderate here today. Let's see. Uh, thoughts on Michael Kelly guitars. They've got a couple of cool ones. You know, I've, you know, I've never, I gotta admit, I've never played one that, you know, would just blew me away. Um, you know, not, not at least none that have, uh, uh, you know, that, that I've just, I've got to have one, you know, I've played several that are nice, uh, several that, uh, you know, that I would, recommend you know <laughs> uh or, you know that i wouldn't talk down about but uh you know i don't know they're just they they kind of seem to be um okay you know there's just like i said just hadn't been any of them that have you know that have blown my socks off uh let's see diluted fraud goodbye Okay. Let's see bigger in your ray. Uh, I just spent the morning doing a crown polish on a Harley Benton. It plays better than new. Now, those, I really want to try one of those Harley Benton guitars, man. Those things seem to be really, really, I mean, everybody's raving about them. Um, I, I really want to done one and, uh, you know, check it out. And I, I really want to demo one for my channel, um, you know, and share it with you guys. So, but unfortunately that's a couple, you know, a couple few hundred bucks that I just don't have laying around here at the moment, unless somebody wants to buy a guitar or something, or something from me. <laughs> mm. I am actually thinking of selling the, uh, the Vester guitar that I demo on here a few minutes back you know great guitar i just don't you know just don't play it i don't know why maybe i need to start playing it and i'll feel differently uh blake lomba says line six amps i don't know if you're i don't know if you're if you're at you know my thoughts or what about them uh let's see Quality for the price point. Uh, uh, David Tate Sr. that asked you asked about the Waylon Jennings sounds. Uh, here down here in the chat, PRS Rocker is uh, giving you your answer. As far, he says, as far as that Waylon sound, yeah, I have the Paisley Deluxe, which is just a Paisley with an underdug. I don't know what that means. I'm over... Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, you can get great sounds if you're looking for out of it, especially if you have a clean amp like a Fender or Fender knockoff. So, uh, anyway, you know, he's a little more in, uh, you know, plays a little bit more in the direction and, uh, would probably be better authority. You know, me right now, you see, I'm playing, uh, <laughs> you know, pointy, pointy stuff with active humbuckers, you know, <clears throat> No, oh, no twangy, twangy stuff for me. At least not, uh, not, uh, not in this trip. Uh, let's see. Under, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Modwiz, yes, you are correct. Third time is the charm. Uh, I think I saw somebody mention in the last one that 
it was the last time it dropped out was actually you, you know, it was a glitch on YouTube's end and not mine. So, you know, but uh, I don't know. I think I saw, you know, a blip in my internet connection that may have been part of who knows. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I'm going to see if I can't. 